Hi everyone, today you join us at a fairly busy Brentingthorpe Proving Ground. I'm joined by Revo's Paul Wallace and today we're here with one goal in mind. If you follow some of the other videos that we do, you'll know that we do a series called Between Two Cars, which as the title suggests, hits two cars head to head. Well, we're here today with exactly that same concept in mind, but with two vans instead. So we brought along two T6s. Uh, they do vary just ever so slightly, but the general spec is the same. This one is a stock 204 TDI 4 motion. This is a long wheelbase. Yeah, yours is a long wheelbase, this is short wheelbase. This one at the moment is running its factory 17 inch wheels, whereas the one you're in has 20 inch wheels on it. So obviously the rolling radius is just ever so slightly different on that. So this is far from being a scientific test. Long wheelbase, slightly heavier, short wheelbase, smaller wheels, but in essence, both exactly the same vehicles underneath. So the purpose of today is to show you exactly what difference the stage one ECU software makes to these superb T6 vans. So yeah, this one's gonna be interesting. I mean, I've driven both of these vans. These in stock are not slow. They're really good. However, the Revo tuned one, I've done a lot of miles in, haven't driven that to Worth to see in Austria earlier this year. So I know exactly what that's like. But anyway, so I'll be trying my best to make sure he doesn't beat me. So then Paul, I think in all fairness, that was pretty conclusive. Yeah, I'd say so. We did expect the stage one tune van to win, of course, but as with all Revo software, it isn't just about kind of peak performance figures and the way that these vans are going to be used day to day by the owners, they're never going to be doing kind of top speed runs and things no, like that. So no. what are some of the benefits of the software? Well, the main thing with the, with the software and any of these really is the drivability from them. It, it's not all, as you say, about that peak straight line horsepower. It is about the actual drivability, the usability, and even down to MPG. People have these vans generally to carry weight yeah, sure. and to carry the family around and things like that. So as long as you know, you've got the extra power, the extra drivability and everything for it, it just makes it a much more fun place to be. So talk to me about figures. We're saying that with the stage one tune, you put about 40 horsepower on. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So the Turf 4 standard, we typically see around sort of 240 yeah. to 250, so let's say 245 as, as a nice all round figure, typically about 550 newton meters of torque. Um, so they, you know, they do feel nice and strong from that. I've actually driven both of these vans here today, yep. as of you, you've yep. driven this one a lot more than I have. Yep. But with the software, you can really tell how smooth that power delivery is. The, the stock calibration, it's, it's a bit renowned for having a, a bit of a dump of, of the power going down. It's not sort of yeah. progressive. These are a lot more smoother. Uh, and obviously when, you, when you're going along on motorways and things like that as well, you can easily get out and do that overtake and it's more progressive rather than just bang, here's all the power. It's a lot more usable. So we just wanted to say a huge thank you to Revo Authorised Dealer Redline Campers for the lend of their short wheelbase for motion today so we could conduct this test. Paul, if people want to know more about the software, where can they find out? Yeah, all they need to do is just have a look on our website, which is www.onlyrevo.com. We've got a dealer locator on there as well. So you can... <laughs> All they need to do is just go onto our website, which is www.onlyrevo.com, have a look at our dealer locator and they can find their closest Revo Authorised dealer. I think it's fair to say, Paul, that 245 horsepower is going to be enough for most people Typically, yeah, in one of these. Expect, yeah, yeah. However, if this isn't quite enough for you, then we've got a little something tucked up our sleeve. Something knocking on the door of 400 horsepower, but you're going to have to wait till the next video to check out exactly what we're on about. <laughs> Long wheelbase, slightly heavier, as Paul said. What a mug. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be a to edit. Hey, hello, go, bro. So I think it's fair to say, Paul, that 250. So I think it's fair to say, Paul, that 200. <laughs> <laughs> Bikes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>